So, in this module we will talk about the effluent disposal into either into the land or into the river waters. So, as concerned the effluent disposal procedure which is finally adopted by a particular manufacturer is obviously determined by a number of factors of which the most important is the control exercise of the relevant authorities in many countries on the quantity and the quality of the waste discharge as I have already told you in our previous module that the range of the effluent disposal method which can be considered number one the effluent is discharged to land river or a sea in an untreated state. And the second is the effluent is removed and disposed of the landfill site as or is inserted. So, as concerned the effluent is partially treated on the site prior to further treatment or the disposal by one of the other routes. So, the part of the effluent is untreated and discharged as one or two strategy the remainder is treated as a sewage work or at the site before discharge. So, all of the effluent is sent to the sewage work for treatment although there might be reluctance by the sewage work to accept it possibly resulting in some preliminary on site treatment being required or discharge rate and effluent composition defined. So, all the effluents is treated at a factory before discharge. So, as concern these are the treatment strategies one is in situ and other is known as ex situ. So, as concern the in situ where that effluent is produced we will have the different treatment mechanism there. So, as concern the ex situ treatment first we collect and first we send it to some sewage treatment we have to be kept in all the sites accordingly. So, we have to keep the all these as concern the disposal of the effluent to the sewers the municipal authorities and the water treatment companies which accept the trade effluents because the factory has the direct agreement with those sewer treatment because if each and every industry has its own um, effluent treatment plant that it will be a more costly. Sometime in an industrial zones there is a composite in a united uh, effluent treatment which we call as mostly the sewer treatment plants. So, as you can see that in if we visit to the Kasur leather industry part there is a government have installed effluent treatment plant there. So, that is why if there is an agreement and then the factory has to pay some cost for the effluent treatment. So, then the sewage work has to the capacity to go with the estimated volume and the effluent because according to agreement according to the capacity of the total uh, sewage system very critical. So, the effluent will be interfered with the treatment process. So, the composition of the effluent that should be remain the same because at the time of the registration at the time of the booking at the time of the agreement with the sewage system that should be otherwise that can affect the whole treatment. So, there are no compound present in the effluent which will pass through the sewage work unchanged and then cause the problem when discharged into a water course. So, as concerned the fermentation waste may be treated on site or at an sewage treatment plant. So, by all that three methods either that is uh, the physical method, chemical method or a biological methods. So, the final choice of the treatment and the disposal process used in each individual factory will depend upon the local circumstances and the local uh, legislation and the regulations and containment level. So, as concerned the treatment process that may be described as follow. So, the first one is the primary treatment in which the physical and the chemical methods in which mostly the sedimentation and coagulation methods are mostly used. As concerned the secondary treatment mostly the biological methods that is activated sludge conducted after the primary treatment. So, as concerned the tertiary treatment in which the physical, chemical and biological methods mostly micro strainers, sand filters, grass plot irrigation that is used to improve the quality of the liquor for the previous stages. So, as concerned the four the sludge conditioning and the disposal that is the physical, chemical and the biological methods in which the aerobic digestion is often used to conditions. So, 
mostly the following dewatering that is the centrifugation using of the decanter centrifuge methods the sludge can then be disposed by the incineration and the lead finding etc but the most of the organic waste material may be degraded biologically or by aerobic or anaerobic processes using different uh, uh, organism the mostly widely used aerobic process is the trickling filters rotating disk contractors active hs process and there is other modification that is mostly used so as concerned the anaerobic processes that is the digestion filters and the sludge blank blankets and the use both in the treatment of the specific uh, wastewater and the sludge conditioning uh, methods by the combination both aerobic and uh, anaerobic strategy